Okay, so now we're on number two, and it says for number two that we need to arrange our Google Apps um, like this, the classroom, the drive, the docs, and so forth. All right. Now, um, you might have done this in another video. If you have, um, it's just more practice for you, and some of you guys might have not. So we're going to go up here first to um, the top of our browser, and we're going to open up a new tab. Once you open up a new tab, you can see over here again, and if you're not on Google, go ahead and go to Google. Some of you guys might have different home screens. So if you're on Google, then you're going to see over here those Google apps. And we need to arrange these apps uh, to better fit us when we're in school. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to um, need to bring up our assignment to show us how we need to arrange those Google apps. So we're going to do a split screen on a Chromebook. You might know how to do this already. So if you do, feel free to skip this part. But you're going to go up here and you're going to grab right here. And uh, if you can't grab it, what you might be doing is you might be trying to grab up here. If you, if you try and grab right up here, okay, you can't actually grab it and bring it down. The only way to actually get it small like that is you have to double tap if you're over here. So if I double tap, there you go. Now I can actually grab from over here, okay? So I kind of recommend grabbing from here. So you don't have to double tap, but you can double tap and it'll do the same thing to get it like this. So now that I have it, I just got to move it all the way to the side until I see a white box um, appear. Now that it's appeared, that white box, go ahead and release that browser, the top of it. Bam. And now I have a split screen on this side. So I need to make this assignment split screen as well. So I'm going to click on it. Okay. And if I'm over here, I have to double tap. If not, I can just grab this. But I'll just be over here. So I'm going to double tap. There you go. And I'm going to grab onto it, hold down the touchpad, and scoot it over again until I see that white box appear. Now that it's appeared, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to release my touchpad. Now they're side by side. But I need to see the directions over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and you can see this is what you have to move. So again, I'm going to tap on this. So go ahead and click on this and move it over to where you can see the directions. Now if you're on a touch screen, you might just be able to grab and move. Now over here, same thing. I might have that problem. I don't see the Google Apps. So I need to go down here until I see this browser. There's not this browser, but this little thing that allows you to move over until I see it. Okay, so you might have to kind of click down here or hover down here is what I should say until you see it. Try not to click this. I'll send you somewhere else. So now that I see it, okay, I can actually grab this and I can move over. If you have a touch screen, you can literally grab the screen and move over. All right, now I see my Google Apps, so I can go ahead and start to arrange them or according to number two. So go ahead and click your Google Apps, and we're going to look for Classroom first. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Classroom. You might have to scroll down further to find Classroom, but mine is just right here. And I'm going to put that first, because that's where you're going to be all finding, doing, turning in classwork, all of your stuff right there. We're going to use Google Classroom a lot. Okay, now I need the Drive. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to look for Drive. Here it is right here. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to move it up. And again, if you can't find the drive, you can just scroll down and look for it. The drive is really important because if you do any assignments, um, they will show up there. And so that's where you need to search to find your missing work or your assignments that you're working on. Not missing work, but the assignments that you're like, oh, I need to turn that assignment in. Okay, now it says I need Google Docs. So I'm going to grab the docs right here and I'm going to move it up. Google Docs is like Microsoft Word. And so if you want to type a paper or anything, that's where you want to go to. It's just like it allows you to type a paper online or any other assignments your teacher might give you. We do a lot of assignments in Google Docs. Okay, my bottom row, my second row needs to have sheets. So here's sheets right here. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to move it up. Sheets is important if you want to graph, if you're in a math class. Sometimes we do graphing in science. Really important. We want to have it and we want to be familiar with it. So click it, bring it up. Next, you need YouTube. So go ahead and grab YouTube, move it up. Okay, and then the last one, it says slides. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to grab slides and I'm going to move it up. Slides is important if you want to make a PowerPoint. Okay, so slides is just a Google version of PowerPoint. And so um, if your teacher asks you to do a presentation and make slides, you have it right here. You can access it really fast. Now, there's some other things I would suggest moving up. I would suggest moving up. Oh, what happened? Okay, I'll just click on here again. I would suggest grabbing onto translate. If you need to translate, you can move that up as well. Another good one is Gmail. I want you guys to move that up, especially if you're in my class, because we use Gmail to um, email each other at the school. And if you want to see or write your teachers or get correspondence from a teacher, then you want to 
be real familiar with it and have access to it. So I'm going to move it up. If you don't use Gmail for your school, then I wouldn't move it up. And, uh, and then you can also move your calendar up, which is great to have too as well. So you can check what assignments you have in Google Classroom and when they're due and so forth. So you can move anything else up, scroll, scroll down and see what you like. Okay, now it says right here that I need to, need to take a snippet of how I arranged uh, my Google Apps and insert it. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open this up first. And then to take a snippet, what you're going to do is you're going to hold down Control and Shift. I'm going to show you this on my phone as well so you can see what I'm doing on my keyboard. So let me go ahead and push play. Okay. So you're going to hold down control and shift at the same time and still hold these fingers down. And you're going to push the button right here, which is called the window shift key or sh it allows you to shift the window. Okay. So this button right here, okay, this button right here, that's above the six. So I like to refer to it as push the button above the number six. Okay. So I'm going to hold these two down and then I'm going to push this one. Okay. But still holding these. Once I push that button, I will release all three keys, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do that. So um, go ahead and uh, make sure that this, again, is open right here, okay? We need the apps open so we can take our little snippet. So I'm holding down Control-Shift, still holding them down, and I'm pushing the button above the 6, okay, the Windows Shift key. Now what you can see appears, and I'm going to show you using my phone as well, is you have a little target. Oops, I accidentally closed mine out, so I'm just going to real quick push it again okay and your screen actually goes a little dark if you can tell and you can see right here that I have a little target that has appeared now and if I just gently move my finger I can see that my target is now moving around on the screen hopefully you guys can see that I may back up a little bit because sometimes it looks a little funny on the, the on the phone okay anyways so now I can move around it and I want to take my snapshot snippet I'm sorry right here of what I have done. So I want to take a snippet of this right here and insert for number for B. So I'm going to put it up here in the corner and then I'm going to uh, tap right here and hold it down. So watch, so I'm going to tap right here and you can see right here. Okay. And I'm going to use my other finger to kind of drag. So you're going to see I'm going to drag because this is what we want to take a snippet of. Okay. Those two rows that we did. And so now that I've taken my little snippet, I'm going to release my fingers. So I'm going to release them. And now I've taken a little snippet, which is a screenshot of the section that you wanted. Here it is right here. Okay. So now we have to insert this little screenshot, this little snippet into our document back over here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get off my phone and show you that. All right. And you might have to exit if, you, if it still stayed up, but it didn't. It disappeared. But sometimes I have to exit it. All right. That screenshot in the corner. Okay, so now I don't need this document anymore. I can go ahead and close this, exit it out. I'm going to make this bigger, so I'm going to push that button. And in order to insert it, I need to make sure that my um, cursor is right here on the letter B. And I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to click Insert, because that's what we want to insert, that screenshot we just took. So go ahead and go down to Image, and then go over to Upload from Computer. Okay, once you click that, we have to find that image that's on our computer. So you need to make sure you're on your files, okay? And if you, you might need to even push this sometimes, okay? So you might need to push this. So if once I click this right here, yours shouldn't pop up, my thing's popping up, sorry. So anyways, once I push this right here, I can actually see my downloads. So again, if you can't see it, make sure you're pushing this. So now I see my downloads, I'm gonna go ahead and click here, okay? And I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna find my screenshot, and I'm gonna look at the date and stuff. Oh yeah, that was done today. Okay, here it is right here. I'm going to click it, okay, and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go open. And that's going to insert it into number two. So there we go. We have now taken our snippet and we are done with number two.